Howdy folks, Jambreek here. Sorry about how my voice sounds, I've got both a cold and a sore throat. So I probably sound like I'm 70 years old. However, I'm determined to do this video for you guys. So, what is Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo is a cartoon series that follows the adventures of a group of teenage mystery hunters named Fred, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and their pet dog Scooby-Doo. The show is still going to this day, and has spawned many feature films and live-action adaptations. And there's also a Scooby-Doo puppet movie. Scooby-Doo Adventures, the mystery map, has Scooby and the gang trying to uncover the mystery of Gnarly Beard the Pirate and his lost treasure. This movie doesn't feel like a movie. Everything looks so cheap and small. There's no cinematic ambition going on. It frustrates me how enclosed and tightly shot the movie looks, because it takes away any sense of film experience. To be honest, it feels more like two episodes of Scooby-Doo tied together. Seriously, there's no filmic act structure at all. It's just two separate stories related to Gnarly Beard following the formula of a Scooby-Doo episode. The movie even divides the two stories with a pointless, cheesy music video. How naff is that? Not helping matters is the film's shockingly short 43-minute running time, which is actually two minutes less than what is considered to be a feature length for a movie. This lack of ambition makes the whole puppet movie idea seem like a pointless venture. Why not just do a Scooby-Doo puppet TV show instead? The overall mystery aspect of the film isn't anything exciting either. The ghosts aren't causing major damage or aggravating a large community. They're just being minor inconveniences for the gang's treasure hunt, and that's about it. These ghosts aren't scary at all. They're more like pantomime villains than supernatural threats. I could wrap my entire body with toilet paper to make myself look like a mummy and still look way more terrifying than Gnarly Beard in this film. Seriously, how can I get wrapped up in unraveling the mystery of this film when the ghosts present no sense of danger or fear? I usually like the characters in Scooby-Doo, but this movie's version of the Mystery Inc. gang is dreadfully annoying. All the characters have been given one defying personality trait that's turned up to 11. From Fred acting like a dumbass jock to Daphne being a token girl trope. It's unbearable seeing these usually charming and intelligent characters acting like idiots. Come on, you guys, stop goofing around. We gotta find other clues. Yeah, we sure do, especially since the footprints stop here. Impossible. Footprints don't just disappear. Let me have a look. Hmm. It looks to me like the footprints have disappeared. Brilliant deduction, Fredward. Why, thank you. my shoes dirty and they're my faves we also have some very weak comedy all of the jokes are incredibly cliched and unoriginal there's nothing fresh unique or inventive about this movie's comedy i've heard these one-liners so many times before it's like the writer isn't even trying surely these youngsters are trying to steal my most important archaeological discovery ever really why, no, we're not. Mm -hmm. We're here looking for something else, sir. I mean, ma'am. There's something irritatingly gimmicky about the film, as if the only entertainment value of the movie is the novelty of seeing the Scooby-Doo characters as puppets. That's not enough to keep audiences entertained for three quarters of an hour. And you know what? It's not even good puppetry. The puppets aren't very flexible or expressive, and the film doesn't take advantage of these limitations. Instead of embracing the inherent restraints, it goes to extreme lengths to force these floppy foam puppets to achieve cartoony actions and movements that are more manageable in animation than live-action puppetry. This leads to some awkwardly terrifying imagery that's more disturbing than funny. I wanted to wash my eyes out with soap after seeing Scooby transform into weird shit. To conclude, I think that Scooby-Doo Adventures The Mystery Map is a rubbish movie. Instead of coming up with a creative and engaging story to keep audiences entertained, it just relies on the gimmick of turning Scooby-Doo characters into puppets. Even Scooby-Doo fans will find this to be a lazy and naff waste of time. Hey, jackass! Why, boy? Host of Cartoon Corner and number one Scooby-Doo fan? What are you doing here? Why did you review a Scooby-Doo movie without me? But you've already reviewed this movie on your channel. 
It's the principles, you British bastard! Whoa, calm down, white boy. I thought Canadians were supposed to be polite. We Canucks can throw our manners right out the window and push too far, man. <sighs> okay, fine, I have an idea. You can join me on the next episode of Puppet Panic and decide the film we review together. So, which movie should we do? Oh, how about Barney's Great Adventure? <laughs> no, no, anything but that. No! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!